closer we get to this famous bay, the impact of the Lasafua watershed's diminished capacity to deal with water runoff becomes very apparent. So Christine, are you feeling what I'm feeling? It's really muddy. It's like you're sinking. I sank down. I'm pretty sure my whole boat is buried. Yeah. And um, but yet we can see all bare roots here. Yeah, not and a good thing. The whole walk through, we were able to see ungulate tracks. Yeah. Um, pretty much on both sides of the stream. I'm sinking um, as we speak. Yep. Let's Keep, keep moving. <laughs> keep moving. <laughs> As Christine walks ahead, I realize my left leg is buried calf deep in the mud. Give me my foot. Uh. Uh. The Lassafua watershed that we are working in in uh, Humatic releases 660 large pickup truck loads of sediment into Fua Bay every year. So that's a staggering number, and we're hoping that um, our initiatives that we're taking up with the Humata project will decrease that sedimentation. The other outcome that we want with the Humata project is to have our islanders develop a true concern for our environment and our natural resources. We also would like to reestablish fertile land and native forests and restore the health of our once vibrant coral reefs and abundant nearshore fisheries. What happens on the ridge happens on the reef. This is the lesson learned over and over. It is one of the many lessons we've learned over and over throughout Micronesia in this first season of Into the Islands. It is a season that's taken us from Guam to Saipan in the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas, to the islands of the Republic of Palau, where fishermen from these three island nations fish together. It became clear to us that the stories of the Micronesia Challenge could fill at least one season, and so we launched a YouTube channel. In Pompeii, we saw some of the earliest Micronesian examples of community building at Nan Madal, and in Kosrai at the Lelu ruins. It was in Kosrai that we spent time with a community of relatives who created a conservation easement to save a forest of magnificent ka trees. We saw the ravages of invasive species and met champions of conservation as far south as Helen Reef Palau, who keep their island a sanctuary for breeding and migration. Most of all, we met Micronesians, everyday islanders from all walks of life, who hope for and work tirelessly for the conservation of their land, sea, traditions, and lives. This is the Micronesia Challenge. continues at www.micronesiachallenge.org where you can learn more about the people you just met as well as the efforts of preserving the thousands of species of fish, plants, and wildlife in Micronesia. There are downloadable teaching modules for schools as well as an online video storytelling academy by Dan Ho. And of course, we look forward to your support of the Micronesia Challenge. Thank you.